one of the things that makes the book of Psalms so helpful is its honesty. It comes across so vividly, doesn't it, particularly in the individual psalms of lament. But it also com comes across in communal psalms like this one, like Psalm 74. I mean, we just feel the agony of it, don't we? Just in the first verse, O oh God, why have you rejected us forever? Why does your anger smoulder against the sheep of your pasture? That the nation of Israel were God's people. They've been chosen by him, rescued by him. He dwelt with them. But now it's clear that they've been beaten up. They've been utterly annihilated. I mean, just look at verse 8. They say, that is they, their enemies, their enemies say in their hearts, we will crush them completely. They burned every place where God was worshipped in the land. And it's not just the fact they've been beaten up by their enemies, but they feel like God has rejected them. They've had no signs from him. They had no prophets sent by him. In fact, they've had no sign of him taking any action whatsoever. Let's pause briefly just to, to mention two things I think we can learn from this psalm. One, as I've kind of alluded to already, it's good to be honest with God. But secondly, if we're feeling battered and even rejected by him, remember who God is. Remember him. Because there's a turning point in this psalm. It comes in verse 12 where the psalmist says, But God is my king from long ago. He brings salvation on the earth. And then the psalmist goes on to meditate on God's immense power, most clearly shown in creation. He made the land and the seas. He made the immense sea creatures. He, he, uh, he made the skies uh, and all that is in them. He made uh, continents and countries. He made... Uh, and is in control of, of even the seasons. God is this remarkable power. What awesome power he has. And then with that power in mind, the psalmist cries out to God to act. We can be honest with God in our struggles. But we should remind ourselves of who he is. Because when we do that, it gives us renewed confidence to call out to him to act.